Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Now we continue for the third structure. We continue for the third structure. Redundant structure for number 2. Which is we symbol as a N2. For the redundant structure number 2. Which is uh, we have choose our redundant force. FBD. So for your uh, primary structure and redundant structure. You have removed the member BD. When you remove the member BD. It means for redundant structure number 2. We add. 1 kilonewton 1 kilonewton to replace the BD that's why they have a 1 kilonewton here and here okay because you remove force for member BD it means for redundant structure number 2 you apply 1 kilonewton internally okay internally then uh, for this structure not need uh, to calculate this uh, reaction because uh, this uh, structure uh, they will uh, equilibrium internally so as uh, structure number number two and number one we will analyze based on joint B first okay before uh, we analyze at joint B the best is uh, we determine the component for this uh, one kilonewton we determine the component in x component in y so due to this one kilonewton the component the force component here is a uh, cos uh, 37 cos 37 means 0 0.8 this is 0 0.8 and here you got the 0 0.6 so at joint b at joint B, you have uh, unknown in X, unknown in Y. And 0.8 and 0.6 part of force for joint B. So this X balanced by, sorry, 0.8 balanced by this X. This is, uh, uh, right direction, this is X direction to the left. 0 0.8 and for y direction 0 0.6 downward here balanced by 0 0.6 upward it means when you check at b summation of force in x summation of force in y equal to 0 then uh, for bc 0 0.8 to the left 0 0.8 to the right Similar to here, 0 0.6 going up, 0 0.6 downward. Then let we continue at join because because this is reaction we consider zero, zero. So let we continue at join A. At join A, they have a unknown in X here and for inclined member. They have unknown X and Y. So, at joint A, they have a, one unknown in Y, two unknown in X. So, you must settle this, you solve the Y first. Okay, Y. So, you refer to the other force applied at joint A. They have a 0 0.6 downward. So, due to that, this Y must 0 0.6 upward. 0 0.6 downward balanced by 0 0.6 upward it means summation of force in y equal to 0 when you can determine for inclined member you have determined uh, one component y direction easily you can determine in x direction which is 0 0.6 multiply by you get a ratio because this is you want to determine the in x direction so x because for, for this for this member we have a x component divided by y component it means 4 divided by 3 multiplied by 0 0.6 so this is 4 divided by 3 this is equal to 0 0.8 equal to 0 0.8 so 
you have determined this x now at a still have one unknown left so this x tell in this force 0 0.8 this is to the right so here is to the left 0 0.8 it means summation of force in x equal to 0. So for member AD, at joint A 0 0.8, at joint D also 0 0.8. This is to the left, this is to the right. It means summation of force in x must equal to 0. Then, let we consider this uh, joint for example uh, 0 0.3 going up 0 0.3 going down and 0 0.8 to the right 0 0.8 to the left it means summation of force in x summation of force in y must equal to 0 then let me consider at joint c at joint C, you have uh, unknown for CD and CE. Already determine the value CB and CA. Now, in X direction, in X direction, because this is they have a X and Y. Here they have a Y. Let we determine x first because they have a one and in x you will check here they have a force from cb in x direction 0 0.8 to the right and for ca they have a component x 0 0.8 to the left 0 0.8 to the right 0 0.8 to the left so due to that this x must equal to zero because already uh, balancing here balance here then for CE, when they have one component equal to zero, the other component must equal to zero. So for CE, zero. Then this Y, this Y, balanced by this 0 0.6. So this Y going up, upward 0 0.6. If you check here at point C, they must meet the requirement summation of force in X, summation of force in Y must equal to zero. Then for member CD, for member CD at joint C, they have a 0 0.6 going up, and of course at D, they must 0 0.6 downward. It means summation of force in Y must equal to 0. And at D, at D, here is a Component uh, X 0 0.8 Component Y 0 0.6 This is 0 0.8 This is 0 0.6 So in, uh, in Y direction Going up 0 0.6 Going down 0 0.6 So even though they have uh, unknown here X and Y But in Y direction Balance already here And in X direction 0.8 to the left, 0.8 to the right. Balance already. So due to that, this y equal to zero, this x equal to zero. It means this equal to zero. Okay. Uh, normally for uh, redundant structure where we apply one kilonewton internally, normally this structure it will balance within the box. Okay, it will uh, balance uh, within the box. So that's why CE, ED equal to zero, and of course, external force equal to zero because this is internally balanced. Okay, this is how we calculate internal force due to one kilonewton internally. Okay, so now we already determine the force in member AB force in member BC, force in member CD, force in member CA, because uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, actually, the force here is uh, equal to 
one. Go to one. Then for member B D also equal to one. Okay, this is how we we determine internal forces. N two for redundant structure number two. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.